Hi year one, hope you're all okay at home. Back for another fitness lesson. Um, today we're gonna do, be doing a little bit more coordination work. I'm gonna show you the objects that you're gonna need today to complete our tasks. This is our last week of doing coordination because next week we're gonna fin finish off with a fun challenge week. I've got some challenges that we're all gonna try together. Um, but this week, like I said, we're doing a little bit more coordination. Remember, coordination is our eyes telling our hands what to do, how and when to do something. So we've done lots of throwing, lots of catching, um, and we're carrying on with them kind of things today okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let you know what you're going to need today then I'm going to send you off to do your warm-up it's a really cool warm-up that you can try today um, I'm going to send you off to do your warm-up then we're going to do a couple of skills together and then to finish with um, I've got a really fun cool down or it's a bit of a game actually to finish off with it's going to be a ninja game that you're going to be able to click on and play okay we're going to do that after the skill so that's the plan um, the objects the, the things that you're going to need for today's lesson you are going to need some colored things. So you're gonna need something that is green. I've got a green cone here. You could use, um, I don't know, a green apple or something, but something that is green, you're gonna place that on the floor. So if I show you, you're gonna place that down on one side. You are then going to need something that is red. So I've got a red cone here. And if you've got maybe a red hat, maybe a red glove, whatever it could, whatever it is, doesn't matter as long as it's red. You then place that next to the green cone. I'll show you how this looks in a moment when I pick the phone up. And then you need something yellow. I've got a yellow cone here. I'm lucky I've got all of my cones at school, but you might use something like a yellow banana. Whatever it is, doesn't matter as long as it's yellow. You then put that next to the red. So you've got green, red, yellow. Then you've got something that's blue. Again, I've got a blue cone. You might use, I don't know, a blue shirt or um, a blue pair of shoes. Whatever it is, doesn't matter as long as it's blue. I've got something blue. And then lastly, you need something that is orange. And here I've got a nice orange spot. And lastly, I'm gonna put this down. So, if I just show you how that looks on the floor there, can you see? So we start with the green, then got the red, then got yellow, then got blue, and then we've got orange. Hopefully, there we go, that's a bit better. There you can see, you can see green, red, yellow, blue, and orange. So, find your objects, set them up in a line like that, and it's gonna be called a dance mat warm-up, okay? Some of you may have played this game before, it's a really, really cool game. It's called Guitar Hero, and it's got lots of different songs on there, um, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna click on the link, and there's gonna be a song, and it's gonna ask you to put your object in a line like I just have. You're gonna put your objects in a line. When you press play on the YouTube video, it's gonna tell you which color object you need to, to jump to or move your foot to in time with the music, okay? So it's keeping to beat with the music and you're moving your body to each color. So it might flash up green, then you would touch the green cone, or it might flash up red, then you need to touch the red, or it might flash up blue, then you need to go to the blue, okay? So you can either do it by jumping to the colors or just stepping to the colors or moving your hands, doesn't matter, but you just got to follow what colors it says on the song. So that's our setup for the warm up. Something else that we're gonna need for the main part, we are gonna need some balls, okay? Ideally tennis balls or at least balls that can bounce. That is the idea. Not too big either. We don't really want balls as big as basketballs or footballs at the moment. We're using something a bit smaller, okay? So try to find something like a tennis ball. So you're gonna need some balls. And then lastly, you can get yourself a cuddly toy. I've got Cuddly Bella back here with me um, and we're gonna do a little bit of work with a cuddly toy. If you can't find a cuddly toy, I'm sure you've all got cuddly toys, but if you can't find a cuddly toy, you could use a ball, a football, basketball, anything like that, because we're just gonna be passing this from one hand to the other hand around our bodies, okay? So it doesn't really matter what it is as long as you can pass it around your body. So. That's the equipment you need. You need the five colors, green, red, yellow, blue, and orange. You need tennis balls, and you need something that you can pass around your body. Good, so I've sent you a message as well about that, so hopefully you've got all of them objects together. Um, if you haven't, if you need to go off now and collect them objects up, go off, pause the video, go off, collect them up, and then come back and play the video once you've got them all set up. Good, so. Like I said, the warm-up today is the dance mat warm-up. So that's where you're going to go now to the YouTube link below. Um, click on that and do the, uh, do the song. It's a really good song. Your mum and dad might recognise it called Living on a Prayer. Um, have a go with that. Have a go with your dance mats. Try it a couple of times. up to you. But give it at least one go. Once you've done that, then come back to me. And the next, the first thing we are going to do together, I'm just going to take my coast. It's getting warm in the hall now. 
First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some work with our tennis balls, okay? We're gonna do something called the ball drop. Now for the ball drop, we're gonna practice throwing the ball into the ground and catching it, okay? And we're gonna see if we can make it trickier as we go along. We're gonna see if we can do at least eight levels. So the first level is gonna be nice and easy. Gets a little bit harder, a little bit harder, a little bit harder, all the way up to the eighth level, okay? And maybe you can think of even more levels to do um, once you're trying this. So grab your tennis balls, find some space. And the first thing we're doing is we're just throwing with one hand, ball into the floor, bounces once and catch with two hands. So I'm watching it bounce up catching it with two hands. I bounce it down, catch it with two hands. So this is nice and easy. I'm using one hand to bounce it into the floor. It's coming back up and I can catch it with two hands. So can I do that at least 10 times? I should watch the ball, can bring it into my body to make sure I'm catching it, not dropping it. And here we go, that's nice and easy. Now, that time I was bouncing it with my right hand. I was throwing the ball into the floor with my right hand. Let's see if we can do it with my left hand this time. So here we go, bounce it down. Catch it with two hands with my left hand. Watching the ball, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not too bad. So that's bouncing it with my right hand, catching it with two hands, bouncing it with my left hand, catching it with two hands. Give that a try first of all. So that's level one and level two. Nice and easy. Everybody should be able to do that. Right. Moving on to level three. This time, we're only gonna catch the ball with one hand. So this time, we bounce with our right hand, catch it with our right hand. Bounce with our right, catch it with our right. So three, four, five, six, seven. The ball's nice and under control. Eight, nine, and 10. Good, so you've tried that with your right hand. Now we've always got to try things with our left hand as well to see if it's easier or more difficult. Some of you find it easier, some of you may find it more difficult. We've always got a stronger and a weaker hand. My left hand's a little bit weaker, so let's see how I do this one. Ready? One, two, it's a bit harder to control the ball this time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, so I managed to do that. Give that a go. That's level three and level four. Bouncing with one hand, catch you with one hand. Okay, now, moving on to level five already. This time, we're gonna bounce the ball with one hand and try to catch it with the other hand. So it's opposites, we're working on opposites this time. So here we go, bounce the ball and catch. Bounce the ball and catch. So it's out, bounce with my right, catch with my left. Bounce with my left, catch with my right. Let's do five more. One, two, Three, four, five. Good, so see if you can do that. It's bouncing with one hand, then catching with the other hand. See if you can give it a go. It's getting a little bit trickier now. Make sure you're watching the ball and you're moving your hands to try to catch that ball. We wanna do it at least 10 catches. Give it a few goes. Good, so. That's a little bit of bouncing. We're now gonna do a little bit um, of throwing the ball up in the air and catching, okay? So this is level six. So this time, the ball just above my head and into my body. So it's using two hands into my body, into my body, into my body, into my body. So I'm watching that ball and I'm catching it before it drops, okay? Done something similar to this already when we were doing our rocket, but we're now trying with a ball. So see if you can do 10 of them, that was level six. Then let's see if we can catch it a bit lower this time. So this time, let's see if we can let the ball drop below our waist, okay? Here's our waist. Let's see if we can let it drop below our waist and catch it before it hits the floor. So I'm holding it up here, uh, or, or well, well, let's try it this way. Let's see if we can do it. So I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna try to catch it before it hits the floor. Ready? There we go, one, two, Three, holding it up high. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm letting that ball drop and 10 and trying to catch it just before it hits the floor. Quite difficult that one, give it a go. So hold the ball as high as you can, let go of it. Don't catch it straight away, let it drop to about your waist and then try to catch it before it hits the floor. Give that one a go, not easy, that one. Okay, so I think that's level seven. 
One more level we're going to do. We're going to try to put a catch in, a clap in between our catching. Okay, so this time, ball goes up, one clap. Ball goes up, two claps. Ball goes up, three claps. Ball goes up, four claps. Can I do five? Oh, I didn't do it. So I'm going to try again. Ready? One, two, three. No. One, two, three, four. Not quite. One, two, three, four. Oh, almost. One more go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh. Four. So I can manage four claps and a catch, okay? See how many claps you can do and catching the ball. If it drops on the floor, doesn't count. See how many claps you can get in and then catching the ball. Good. So that's our skills that we're looking at today. It's our coordination with a ball. There's eight different levels there. Um, give them all a try, okay? Don't rush through them. If you're, if you're finding it tricky, don't move on to the next level. Just go to where you find your level, okay? So if you think, oh, this is a bit hard. I don't think I can try the next one. That's fine. You don't have to try the next level. If you can do all eight, though, well done. Um, good effort. So, that was one skill. We are then going to do another skill. Um, after this skill we're going to do with our cuddly toys or your balls, whatever you've got, the next two you are going to try to do with a partner, okay? If you haven't got anybody in the house to do it with at the moment, that's fine, um, but you can just remember these games and play them over the weekends or play them once your brothers or sisters or mums or dads have finished their work tonight. These are just some ideas for you to be able to do with your family, okay? But we can do one more on our own and that's going to be the pass it round your body challenge. So we're going to pass our object around our whole body. So we're going to start with our heads, we're going to move down, and then eventually we're going to go round our legs, okay? So first way, we're going to pass the object around our heads. So it's going, I'm watching it going round. One, two, three, four, five. Good, so it's one hand pass into the other one. Nice and easy around my head. Here I'm going around my waist now, so I can feel it. It's under control. Bella's going to be getting a bit dizzy with this. Good. Round my waist. Like this. Nice and easy. Good. Then, if I move back a little bit, you should see that I'm going to pass it round my legs. I'm passing the cuddly toy round my legs. Good. So all of that was quite easy. Starting at my head, moving to my waist, moving to my legs. I'm now going to try to pass it in and out of different parts of my body. So I'm going to try to pass it through the middle of my legs. So it's going to be like a figure of eight. So I go through here, round this knee, back under, and round. So it's like a figure of eight. Give that a go. Passing your object through your legs. Good. Then, the next thing, can you pass it and step over it, like this? So this time I'm stepping through my legs. So passing the object, stepping through my legs. And then finally, the last level that we're going to do for this is can we walk and do that, okay? So, starting back here, and as I step, the object goes through. Step, through, step through, step, through, step, through. Can I go backwards? Step, through. Try not to skip my cones. Step, step, through, step, through, step, through. Oh, it's really tricky going backwards. Step, through. Give that a try at home, okay? It's a bit of fun. You can also try this with your brother or sister, so you can pass it around their body, they can pass it to you, you can go under your legs, they take it, they go over their head, so you can pass it around to them side to side. Lots of things that you can do together with that, okay? so. Give that a little try. Bit more work on our coordination. Our eyes are watching the object move, telling our hands how and when to take the object. Good. Well done, Bella. Are you feeling too dizzy? Good. So, that's our skills. That's what we're doing for our skills today. We've done our warm up, we've done our skills. Partner work, what I was saying about. These are some games that you can do with partners if you haven't got anyone to do it at the moment. Remember them and suggest doing them over the weekend or in the evening. So, We've got dance mats with a partner. So we've got our dance mats here and we did it to the songs before, but this time what you can do is you can change the dance mats a little bit. So I'm just gonna use four colors. I'm gonna use my yellow. I'm gonna do it back here so hopefully you can see. Yellow, red, blue, and green. So let's just see that you can see that. Hold it up. 
So there we go. So we've got it in a square shape. Now we've got red at the back, yellow at the front, then green to one side and blue to the other side. Now, what you're going to do, see if we can hold it there, that's the best of you. What you're going to do is one of you can stand inside the square and the other person's on the outside of the square and they're calling a colour for you to jump to. So if they call yellow, you jump to yellow, you jump back to the middle. If they call green, you jump to the green, jump back to the middle. Blue, jump to the blue, jump back to the middle. So you're always going to the colour that they call and then jumping yourselves back into the middle. So make sure you both have a go at that. Switch over with your partner so you both have a go. To then move it on a level, you can try two colours. So you could say, your partner might shout, touch red and blue, touch them both, come back into the middle. Touch yellow and green, both into the middle. Blue and green, both into the middle. So you both give that a try. And then lastly, you might start using your hands, okay, as well. So you might say, uh, one hand on green, one foot on blue, or one hand on red, one foot on yellow. So you can start to move different parts of your body. It's a good, fun game. It's called the dance mat game, okay? Give it a try, find four different colour things, work with a partner. The quicker you say the colours, the more difficult it is, but don't go too quickly that the person can't keep up. So give dance mats a try with a friend or with a brother or sister or your mum or dad or whoever's at your house. Um, so that's one thing. One more game you can try with a partner. We've got something called reaction cones. Now let me just grab my two cones, they're over here. And for reaction cones, you just need two different colors again. You need something that's blue, you need something that's red. You can use um, the dance mats, because we if you finish with them, you could use two things from there. And what you're gonna do with these is you're gonna tell your partner that one hand, so their right hand, is always gonna touch the blue cone. And then you can say, your left hand is always going to touch the red cone. And the idea is your partner moves the cone around and if it's their right hand that's touching, it's gonna to touch the blue there, then it moves here, blue there, it moves up here, blue here, then blue. And as they are moving it, you are trying to touch it, but it must be with the correct hand. And then you can do the same with the red. So as the red's moving, that's then gonna to touch with your left hand as it's moving. And then once you've done one hand at a time, you can try to do two hands together. So they touch with both hands. And you do like this, like this, and then you can switch like that. And if you cross your arms when you've got the colors, the way your partner has to do it is they have to cross their hands to touch the colors as well, okay? Because it always needs to be whichever hand you said needs to touch whichever color you said. So. That's a fun little game as well. That is called Reaction Cones. Give that a try, um, see how you get on. Don't move them like this. Too quick, okay? Do it properly, just nice and slowly. As they're touching, move them apart to see if they can remember which hand needs to touch which color. Good, so they are the Reaction Cones. Well done. I'm going to hold it there for now. Um, I think I've done enough talking for um, today. So you guys go off. Remember, do your warm-up, do your, your um, dance mat warm-up where you've got the, the colours in a line and the, the YouTube clip is telling you which colour you need to jump to. Then give it a go with our skill, doing the ball drop and the ball catching. Then try the pass around your body with your different objects, so your cuddly toy. Then you can find a partner to do some partner work, dance mats and reaction cones. The last thing that you're gonna finish off with today is you're gonna play our ninja game, okay? So there's one final YouTube link that you can go to once this video is done, um, and that's where you can be a ninja and you've gotta to try to get the other ninjas. I think there's a blue and a red ninja. It will tell you what you've got to do. You have to punch one, kick the other color, and not be beaten by the evil baddie. I think you've gotta duck out the way of some things that they throw at you as well. So. Enjoy that, have some fun with that. Make sure you're keeping fit, you're keeping healthy, keep going for them walks, keep playing in the garden if it's not too wet and not too muddy. Enjoy yourselves and I hope to see you soon. Bye year one, bye.